Hi, this is Janelle from ERP Solutions. With this session, I will feature our non-conformance module in Dynamics 365 Operations Enterprise. Our solution complements Dynamics 365 with a full suite to control the quality of your products, vendors, customers, and processes. We navigate to non-conformances with the menu selection quality and under the group non-conformances. This will display several options for viewing NCRs. Global Nonconformances provides an intercompany view of all NCRs across all companies. The menu All Nonconformances will display all NCRs in the active company. Selecting an NCR will open a details view of that nonconformance. The General Fast tab displays the header information details. NCRs have relation types that are based upon origination from either a vendor, customer, or internal operations. Since this NCR was created from a purchase incoming inspection, it references the inspection information as well as the vendor information. An NCR owner and manager were automatically assigned based upon user-defined parameters. The Fast tab issues displays the defects and comments made by the inspector. Under Tasks, user-defined tasks can be assigned to groups and vendors for action. Task members are automatically notified by email and respond with comments based upon the task instructions. Dispositioning of material is a process where disposition IDs feature automated actions. A disposition of rework can automatically create a rework order, or a disposition of scrap can automatically generate a scrap journal. In this example, the disposition was approved for return to vendor. The approval process is through a series of e-signatures and workflow, which are user-defined. For this NCR, two e-signatures were required to approve the disposition. Once approved, a return purchase order was automatically generated. With fact boxes, you can see corrective actions related to the NCR and other NCRs that have been issued against the same item. Under the button group, Nonconformances, the button, Upcoming Inspection Lines, will display incoming lots for this item. This view displays upcoming lots and the skip lot status. Under the column marked, a checkbox indicates which upcoming lots are set up for inspection. Normally, a standard such as ISO would automatically force the next lot out of qualification and mark it for inspection. For this item in vendor, inspections were set up to occur every two weeks. Since the last inspection failed and initiated this NCR, you can override inspection planning and mark the next slot manually for inspection. The next button will display the lines from inspections that failed. It provides the data target along with the actual data observed by the inspector and out of tolerance results. This button provides a view of all previous NCRs for this item number and from this vendor. It displays how these previous transactions were dispositioned. Defects for nonconformances will display previous NCRs and defect codes related to the item number. The Approve button group provides the functions to submit an NCR for approval and close. This NCR type required two e-signatures. Once the approval steps are submitted for approval, an email is automatically sent to the first signatory. Once the first signatory applies their approval, the next signatory is notified. Approval steps can also be sent out of sequence, meaning that when submitted for approval, all signatories are advised and the e-signatures can be signed in any sequence. Approval steps are easy to create and are user-defined to have a single e-signature or multiple based upon your process. 
A nonconformance can be created from several areas of Dynamics 365, including customer complaints, purchase orders, production orders, Kanban, transfer orders, and inspections. For this demonstration, I have performed a sampling from an inspection lot where several observations have failed. This is indicated by the failed checkboxes and the defect codes that were automatically inserted when each observation line was updated. This sampling journal also is set up with color coding to provide a visual indicator to the inspector of which observation lines have failed. Closing this form will return me to my inspection journal. I can then generate the nonconformance from the button group functions. The NCR grid will be blank as no NCRs are related to this inspection. Selecting the new button will launch the create form and automatically insert the details including the defect codes. Once I create the NCR, I can also print a label for the defective material. Thank you for joining me today. Please feel free to contact us for further information.